a losing battle today, but uh, yeah, this is our glamorous camp for tonight. It's actually just a lot of poo, and that is disgusting. Alrighty, how does the saying go? It's the mechanics have the worst cars and the plumbers have the worst plumbing. <laughs> wow, this is absolute magic here. And if you're really game, you will go to the Artesian Baths about 4.30 in the afternoon, right on happy hour, where it's literally shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Alrighty, well, tonight is our last night here out at the Ningaloo National Park. Uh, so we spent 12 nights out here all up and it's been absolutely wicked. Well, we've just had a casualty and one of the mirrors on Chelsea's side has fallen off and then it also went under the caravan. It's in the back seat. Well, what's left of it anyway, we'll show you after, but uh, yeah, a little handy hint, tighten your mirrors. After about an hour of driving on some pretty corrugated, sandy and definitely lumpy tracks we are back at Yardy Creek so once we cross here we are gonna air up and then we'll be back on the blacktop and I am so keen oh, well you can see how bumpy it is I'm so keen to get back to civilization ah we'll just go for it we'll just, just go for it just gonna actually both tracks look really good today yeah, or I reckon that one would be pretty soft as you're about to go up the little ramp yeah you... so you gotta stay towards the, the creek, creek. Yeah. and I mean that's at the moment this might not be all year round this is just <laughs> October 2024 yeah. this is uh, advice for the next 24 hours and after that <laughs> don't come back to us <laughs> alrighty I think we're good to go let's go Well, that was very easy. We that had rain so a couple easy. of days ago and I think it's really compacted the sand there. Now we have the huge job of airing everything back up with our little King's air compressor. Hey, don't knock the air compressor. It does a good job. It does. It just doesn't like lots of work. No. If you've got lots of tires to do, it doesn't really love that. No. A cool little trick with the Next Gen Ranger is that you can see the tire pressure sensors on the dash. That way you can see when they're ready and turn the air compressor off. All right, we are back in Exynouth and at the car wash. We thought we probably should wash the car in caravan after it's been sitting on the beach for the last two weeks. Well and truly needs a wash, I think. Good morning. Well, after a very quick stop back in Exmouth to stock up and clean everything, we are back on the road. We are heading south. Yeah, and we're going to do it quite quickly. Um, we are keen to get down to sort of the southwest. We've got some family coming to visit, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, we're just keen to get down and try and enjoy the southwest in the summertime. We are doing this thing now where we travel with the seasons um, because the last few years we've just been very sporadic and done wet yeah. seasons and we're just so over it. <laughs> yeah, it's great doing wet seasons, don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit more challenging. Um, but yeah, we're so keen to head south. Now we don't know where we're going to be staying tonight. All we know today is that we have to get towards Carnarvon because we have some posts to pick up at the post shop and then we're probably just going to find something not very glamorous like a gravel pit or side of the road camp tonight. But we'll keep you posted. Play heading south by Zach Bryan. Going south. If that's not a fitting song to head south, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Farewell, Exmouth. Bye. Catch you later. Alrighty, we have just been driving for the last few hours and we are finally in Carnarvon. And that's Woolworths behind me. We just done our first shop at Woolies Inn. We've worked out about 13 weeks. I am just so thankful I do not have to shop at the IGA any longer because it was really putting a dent in my bank account. And for lunch today, we have some beautiful paninis. We've got some bread, some triple smoked ham and some Swiss cheese. All courtesy of Woolies, thank you. We were a bit panini obsessed recently. So this is our recreation of it. 
Lovely weather. Beautiful weather in Carnarvon. This is disgusting. Yeah, we felt that headwind all the way here today. <laughs> Might not be traveling too much further this afternoon. <laughs> Might just find somewhere 10 k's down the road. It was a solid 24 and a half liters per 100. And uh, yeah, it's not a, not, not a nice feeling. But if you are cruising through Carnarvon and you want a nice walk just to get out and stretch your legs and get blown away by the wind, uh, the foreshore is actually really quite nice. Look at this. You've got a playground, you've got a cafe. Alrighty, well we pulled up a camp. Uh, it's not glamorous at all and you can probably hear the wind as well. It's an uh, interesting little spot. It's just a rest area about 25 k south of Carnarvon. We just couldn't be bothered driving in the wind anymore. It was just a losing battle today. But uh, yeah, this is our glamorous camp for tonight and then uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning from our very, very windy roadside stop. We are killing some time this morning because we are only heading about an hour down the road today to Warramall Station. We wanted to do a bigger day today, but we have an atrocious 45 kilometer an hour southerly and the fuel economy yesterday, we usually at 18 liters per hundred and we were up to 30 by the end of the day. So we're only gonna travel a little bit today and stop off at Warramall Station because it's just not worth doing a massive day in this. And we're just gonna be getting blown all over the road. Alrighty, we have arrived at Wurrimal Station and I'm so glad we're not driving into that headwind. As you can see, we're doing about 28 litres per hundred today. I'm gonna try and film it, just take our word for it, all right? Yeah, not fun. You're getting pushed around on the road, so we may as well come out here, park up, head into the artesian baths and um, yeah, prepare to go get comfy with some people in the bath. <laughs> Cause it's always shoulder to shoulder. And if you're really game, you will go to the artesian baths about 4.30 in the afternoon, right on happy hour, where it's literally shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. There is so many big, beautiful sites available at Warramore at the moment. They are not busy at all. Let's hope someone doesn't come park right next to us because this place is dead. Good thing you're wearing your dark bathers because they reckon the artesian water, uh, the bore water, will just wreck your clothes. Yeah, it just stains it really badly apparently. So old black bathers it is. Somebody just came out of the pools and said, no one else is here. Let's hey, go. Let's run. Wow, this is absolute magic here. And apparently the magnesium here makes you feel amazing. So very keen to relax. Wow, this is so beautiful. Quick Bryce, hop in. You're missing out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi cute little cows oh you're so cute oh my gosh greetings yeah cow oh wow so cute <laughs> they they're so interested in juice our good mates at A247 have sent us out a new product to test and trial out. It's called the Compact Bright V2. So this isn't the first time we've seen it. We did pull it out of the box the other day, but we haven't used it yet. And we were so impressed at the quality of this fire pit. So it's a fire pit. It's also like a, it's a, it's a bright, so you can cook on top of it. And this thing's really cool. It comes with three bags. It's so neat and tidy. It's also got a bag that keeps the bin and the grill separate so that you're not getting everything dirty. The Compact Bry V2 is made out of 304 stainless steel and they're all handmade, which you can tell in the quality of the Bry. This Bry is multi-height adjustable, so you can have it as a campfire sitting around or you can stand up and cook on it too. 
It's got a massive 500 mil cooking grid. It's perfect for camping, down the beach, or even at home. It would make a perfect addition to your backyard and also your camping setup. If you'd like to get your hands on a braai or just anything from the A247 website, make sure to use our discount code ADVENTURE23 and get yourself 10% off. And remember, Christmas is just around the corner, so these are perfect for not just campers, but anyone who likes to have a backyard cookup. Good morning and welcome to one of our favourite little towns in Australia, which is Kalvary. Now we are just in here for the day. We have found an awesome park down by the beach. We have beautiful green grass here. We're going to head for a walk straight on this track and we're just going to explore the town. I mean, we've explored the town a few times before, but it just never disappoints. Look at that. Absolutely lucked out today. We're going to go for wookies. Are we gonna go for walkies? I feel like I've been here before Familiar with the view This ain't nothing new And every time that you walk through the door I'm hit by the same old side Blinded by the lights And I'm going through the Alrighty, now that we're back to our regular programming of travelling on the road We're straight back into the chip buddy sandwiches on the road so we've got some hot chips and we've got some fresh bread from the bakery. Yeah. Oh, and we've got a couple of donuts too to have after. Yeah, <laughs> that was such a good price, we couldn't say no. Alrighty, while we're in Kalbarri, we're gonna go for a bit of a skateboard along the front here. As you would have seen a couple of videos ago, I took a bit of a tumble, so no better way to get over that is to get back on the horse, hey? <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> it's been a while, we haven't skated very much lately. I'm gonna have to go a bit slower, I can get my confidence back. Alrighty, come check out tonight's glamorous camp. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, uh, I actually so think we, it'll do the job. How long do you reckon we drove? Like 40 minutes yeah. south of Calberry and we're near Hot Lagoon, which is a massive pink lake. Kind of looks like someone got murdered though. Yeah, I think they've used that shirt for something else. So I maybe don't go near that. Blood or what it is, but. Alrighty, I'm calling it quits on this one. Someone's left their toilet cassette here and obviously had a bad time trying to empty it, clean it, do something with it. So I don't want to be anywhere near that. The thing that I thought was like a massacre, I think it's actually just a lot of poo and that is disgusting. So you've got some disgusting dirty rag here and here. And then if you look in the bush, there's a toilet cassette up in there. I do not want to go any closer to that. And it's just really gross vibes around here. Yeah, there is so much toilet paper around. We haven't had this much trouble finding a camp in a while. People are just actual gross. Like why would you even leave all that stuff there? What's happened for them to leave that here? I don't know. Yeah. And there's bins. There's literally bins at all these rest stops. Take a shovel at least. Well, third time's a charm. This one is what looks like an old gravel pit. Probably some people that were doing road maintenance or something set this camp up. Well, set this spot up, which is now a camp. I think we're about half an hour from Northampton. Couldn't tell you where exactly we are, but we just jagged it. It's on the side of the road and it's clean. There's no gross old toilet cassettes in the bush or anything like that, so we're cheering. Good morning. Well, this morning we left our gravel pit free camp, which was awesome last night. We were very glad that we moved on, but we're in a caravan park now. We are in Geraldton and we just established this is the first caravan park we've been in since Kununurra in the Kimberleys. Yes, yeah, so that was back before we did the gib and everything. Uh, we were Ages. lucky we were staying at a friend's place while we were in Exmouth. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice to be... Uh, well, actually, I don't it's think it's this. No, it's nice to have grass around. I'll give you that. Yeah, Juice is loving life right now. You liking the grass, mate? 
<laughs> and your new toy. Show everyone your expensive new toy. A piece of cardboard. Best day ever. Go. <laughs> Directions to KFC. KFC Geraldton is five minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Yes. Buddy, that's us. Let's go. <laughs> it's been so long. So, yeah. so long. Dirty bird time. <laughs> Well, after smashing down some dirty bird, we thought we should really come for a walk down the foreshore. It is beautiful down here in Geraldton when it's not blowing a gale. It's not too bad down here at the moment, but we're getting absolutely blown away at the caravan park. In Geraldton here, they have a massive war memorial. This is the HMAS Sydney 2 Memorial, and it also overlooks the town. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get here when they're running the guided tour, and when it's not blowing a gale, yeah. you're getting blown away. It always yeah. blows in Geraldton. Oh. Bryce pretends we're coming here just for the history, but there's also an ulterior motive. He can watch all the ships come in and out of the port. And he's even got this app on his phone where he can tell where they're coming from and what they're doing. So he'll be like, oh, that one's come from, I don't China. know, China, Dubai, I don't know. I just usually zone out. I just blank out at that point, but anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, how does the saying go? It's the mechanics have the worst cars and the plumbers have the worst plumbing <laughs> because for the last couple of days we've noticed a significant decline in water pressure and water flow in the shower and the tap. So I thought well, I better put my plumbing hat on and go check it out. Turns out pressure limiting valve has failed on the caravan. Um, I normally carry a few because I do plumbing on the road and I have changed lots of them in the past. So this morning I'm going to change that out. A surefire way to find out if your pressure limiting valve has failed is that you hook up a pressure gauge. This one's reading 200 instead of 350. Or if it's failed the other way and it's over pressurizing, you'll actually find a leak at your hot water service and it'll just be continuously dripping or drizzling out of it. it means that it's getting too much pressure into the van. In the current setup, the pressure limiting valve and non-return valve is all one unit. I don't like these because they're not as serviceable. I have tried pulling it apart, cleaning it, putting it back together, but it still hasn't sorted the issue out. So what I'm going to do is change it out to a two-piece, so a pressure limiting valve and a 15 mil spring check valve, and that seems to be the best solution. I've done this quite a few times on people's vans, and this way, if you have water coming out of your water inlet, you know it's your spring check valve that's failed, and if you're finding that the water pressure is a problem in your van, you know it's the pressure limiting valve, so they're two separate pieces now. Alrighty, well there you have it. We've got 350 kPa on the pressure gauge, which means the pressure limiting valve is working good. And as you can see, the tap is flowing way nicer. So uh, hopefully Chelsea will be nice and happy. Thanks so much for watching another video. If you've liked this one, make sure to like, hit the subscribe button and drop us a comment below. And also a huge shout out to the guys that gave us a super thanks this week. So a massive thank you to J.A. Allenson, Scott and Marissa, Julie Wright, Jerry and William, and also Ramblin' in the Sun. And we'll catch you next week.